I think there are a few things that are really, to me, the key messages uh, in our research. One is that uh, the school environment has a tremendous impact, not just on educational outcomes, but on a range of health outcomes as well. What we see is when young people feel connected to school, they're less likely to smoke cigarettes, they're less likely to be involved with interpersonal violence, they're less likely to express being depressed, suicide attempts, they're less likely to be involved with vandalism, and they're less likely to wind up getting pregnant. When we looked much more closely uh, at what it is about uh, schools that seem to make so much of a difference, perhaps not surprisingly, what we found was that it is about the adults in the school that be is, becomes and is so critical. Specifically, when young people feel connected to an adult, and most of our work, we were able to only look at connection with teachers. I suspect it's broader than that, but the research is around teachers. When young people feel connected with teachers, what we see is they're much less likely, about half as likely, as those who feel unconnected or disconnected to um, start smoking cigarettes regularly, to drink uh, to the point of getting drunk on a regular basis. They're much less likely uh, to have uh, attempted suicide in the past year. So they're less likely to um, be involved with all of these negative behaviors. And I think it goes without saying, they're also um, much more likely to do better academically in school. So. Uh, that relationship with the teacher, I think, uh, is not just critical, it's transformative. And the power of that relationship and the power of the school environment is greatest for kids who come from the most dysfunctional families. And finally, what our most recent research uh, uh, is showing us is that the critical family element is that um, when parents are connected and when young people feel that their parents are connected to them, when they set high expectations, much like at school, where schools set high expectations for them, young people report not only being much more connected in the sixth and seventh and eighth grade, but when we looked to across time to when they were adults, those young people were much less likely to drop out of school than uh, were uh, others who didn't have this kind of parent connection and parent support early. So it isn't all about schools. It's very much about parents. And finally, when parents know their kids' teachers, Tell us that they've spoken with their kids' teachers. Tell us that they uh, um, watch their kids' homework and know and follow up and say, oh, I remember you had a history test last Thursday. How do you do on that history test? What we see is that the payoff is not just academics, but it is in a whole set of behaviors for young people as well. <laughs> so. Uh, then the question really becomes, okay, we believe this, what can we do? Well, in fact, there are quite a number of strategies that uh, are and are proven to be effective. Certainly one that has gotten uh, quite amount of visibility, and appropriately so, and particularly here in, Anch uh, in, in Alaska, and uh, in Anchorage School District, I know because I've had a chance to work with them, is around social emotional learning. And uh, that strategy really looks at building in these strategies that enhance school engagement, that enhance connection, not as an add-on to school activities, but really integrates it with regular day, regular teaching activities. So it isn't one more burden for teachers, but it is part of what they do. So there again, it isn't about doing, adding on things, but it's about how you do your everyday work uh, that uh, rewards positive outcomes, and by doing so, diminishes uh, negative 
uh, behaviors. I could go on and on in terms of strategies. Uh, one of the uh, things for those who are interested, I would uh, strongly encourage you just to take a look at uh, our website, which is www.jhsph, Johns Hopkins School of Public Health, .edu slash MCI. And in that website, we have an entire best practices library. We have all sorts of interventions that have been evaluated, uh, and these are not touting anyone because we're not in the business of selling anything. We're in the business of giving it away. Uh, and we also have a, uh, an online course for teachers and administrators that you can take any piece of it or all of it for free, and if you want it for credit, there's a mechanism for that or for you know, uh, continuing education units. Uh, but there are strategies that allow people to integrate this into your everyday work, and that's the key.